another Christmas done and dusted. We take away some memories, perhaps a few extra calories, thanks to the turkey, ham, fruit cake, and mince pies and presents. Presents that we like and presents that we do not like. For example, the dress from Auntie Martha. Pretty, but a size too big. Heirloom crockery from Nana. Doesn't match my decor. So what do we do with all those unwanted gifts? Trash them and add to the landfill? Or there's a second option, re-gift. Regifting is not a dirty word. If you do it right, join me. I'll show you how to regift. Rule number one shortlist all the gifts you want to regift. Put a sticky note with the name of the person who's given the gift to you, date, occasion. so that you do not commit the cardinal sin of re-gifting the gift to the same person. If the gift is perishable, say food or gift cards, make a note of their use-by dates. Re-gift food or gift cards well before their expiry date. Do not re-gift in the same circle. Let me explain. Remember the dress from Auntie Martha? Do not re-gift the dress to her daughter. Chances are she and her daughter might have bought the dress together. Check for cards, tags, stickers that might carry a personal note. If you are re-gifting a book, always check the first few pages and even the last page for a handwritten message. There you go. Found it. Check the price. You may not be aware but you might be giving away something that's quite expensive. Thanks to Uncle Google, it's easy to check prices. I'll tell you a little story. Once, my husband had given away a very expensive bottle of wine as Kris Kringle. Now the recipient was mighty happy, but our daughter was not. She had given him that bottle of wine in the first place and then the reverse might happen you may end up re-gifting a cheap hand cream to the boss who's known for her impeccable taste i am a big fan of the three r's recycle repurpose and repackage when you are re-gifting auntie martha's dress you are recycling anyway. The dress may not work for you, but it will work beautifully for a colleague whose birthday is coming up. Repackage. Always remove the original packaging and pack your re-gifts in fresh wrapping paper. Now I have salvaged this wrapping paper and bits and bobs from this year's Christmas gifts. So I'll reuse this wrapping paper to repackage this re-gift. Repurpose. You have received a few gift hampers which are an assortment of sweets and savouries. Now Uncle Bob doesn't much care for savouries but he likes chocolates. 
Open up the gift hampers and repurpose. Take away the savouries, the boxed tea. Make a hamper with chocolates. And take it for Uncle Bob when you visit him next. Here you go. Chucky hamper for Uncle Bob. Try to match the re-gift to the recipient's profile. Her likes, dislikes, preferences. Hobbies. For instance, you can give this to an animal lover. Or maybe this one to a gardener. However, do not give a cookbook to a friend who uses the oven just to dry sweaters. Ask. There is nothing wrong with asking. Ask your close family and friends if they would want to use a re-gift. I specifically mentioned close family and friends. Now these should be people who would not bat an eyelid about using a re-gift or will not have any qualms about using a hand-me-down. Invite your friends over for a post-Christmas swap party. Ask each one to contribute a re-gift with the price ticket. Have a lucky draw of numbers. Whoever gets number one gets to pick the first re-gift. This is a win-win situation for everyone. Instead of being stuck with a gift that you do not want, you take home something you'd want and use. And in spite of all the precautions, if you are caught, caught red-handed, be upfront, face up to it. Say, yes, it didn't work for me, but I thought it will work for you. Those were my top tips for sustainably managing unwanted gifts. Coming up next, learn with Samita's annual wrap-up. Join us this Friday on YouTube Live. Suggest, comment, participate. Before you go away, put your pretty little finger on the like button. Smash the like button. Comment, subscribe and share. Till Friday, Samita signing off. Bye for now.